Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video where today I'm going to be doing my first of many ranking videos with today's being the top 10 herbivores in Jurassic World Evolution 2 so far at least we're definitely going to be getting more in the future and stuff I mean Dominion's right around the corner so we'll be getting a DLC with that so my rankings definitely probably going to change for some of these but today we're going to be looking at the 10 best of the herbivores from the biggest the Brachiosaurus all the way to the smallest of let's see let's go to someone small uh Small little Dryosaurus. I could say Homalocephali, but he's too far down on the list. And we're going to be looking them all based on, like, how much I use them, their best skins, well, how many good skins they have. Also, personal favorite dinosaurs might play a little bit of a role. And also, you know, just how unique they look. So, we're going to be starting off, and also, as you can see, we're in the Species Viewer, which... Nice thing to use this for, it saves me a lot of time rather than using the hatchery for all of them. Even though I could literally finish this in like 5 minutes, but still, makes it easier. And we're going to be starting at number 10, which is down here somewhere, I know. Where is it? I think it's the... It is not you, you're later, Packy. Number 10 is a surprising one for me, but is actually the Syntatosaurus, which... In the first game, I didn't really use him that much, even though he has a beautiful design, especially with that crest. But, due to the lack of beautiful skins in that first game, he wasn't like my highest used Hadrosaur. But, I've used him a lot more, and one of my favorite skins, where is it? I think it's... Yep, that's the blue. And, I actually really like this one, because he looks kind of like a little snow man or something. I don't know, it just reminds me of that. I like the way the blue looks like some icy look and s even though this really should be a purple color, but I like that icy look on him. But I also do like Rana because it really goes with like any skin actually, like purple here, like all of them. The Rana goes with like anything. So like that's my f two favorite patterns and I actually like this green one, actually, you know, I haven't really, I haven't seen this green one, that's Limpo River and Rana together, that's actually really nice, I think this actually is my favorite. Ooh, nice detail on the feet, but yeah, this is number 10 for them, pretty nice guy, and has some nice sounds, though he's definitely not going to be the last Hadrosaur, but going on to number 9, which is right here, the Stiggy Moloch, which is just... Well, he's adorable, for one, but he's got a plethora of actually nice colors. I actually really like this red one with, where was it? I think it's, yeah, it's this one, Papu Rana. I like the, it sort of makes me think that he's sort of toxic in a way, you know, like the um, small v dart frogs that, like, have those bright colors. It reminds me of that, so he, even though he's not, he's obviously not venomous or poisonous, but he just screams, stay away from me, I've got these bright colors, and especially with a skull like that, and all those spikes, can't really blame him, but he's just really, really cute, just look at him, he's so cute, and also, what's his little sleeping animation, sort of, aw, oh, it's just his ears, very nice, aw, oh, bless him, yeah, Stiggy Moloch has grown a lot more on me, I wasn't the biggest fan of it when it first appeared in Fallen Kingdom, but it's grown on me a lot more, Hope we get, and since we'll be seeing him in Dominion as well, can't wait to see what he does. But moving on to number eight or seven, was it? Oh god, I've already lost count. Where is he? It is all the way up here at the top. Oh, there he is. Number eight is the Iguanodon, which this guy probably should be higher, but I think he has some lower skins. He's got some nice ones like this Amazon Rainforest, which really is like the best combination. And if we go where... Nope, there it is. Chakurana. I love the way the blue highlights. That blue on there, on any of these skins, especially... Where is it? Yes, Yukon River. It really highlights that blue, which this is probably my favorite other than um, the Amazon Rainforest. But I just love this guy because he's one of those hadrosaurs, even though he's an iguanodon, that can fight back against carnivores, especially with those big spikes. And since he's appearing in Dominion, 
can't wait to see what he looks like then with that new skin model so can't wait to see that but a nice boxer he's got like those hulk hands really i always nickname him hulk or something because well look at those fists those are dangerous fists but who knows maybe his ranking should be his ranking should probably be higher but i'm gonna leave him down here for now because it's only like those two skins that i commonly use but moving on to actually right here numbers what am i on i did Okay, this is number seven, the Homalocephaly, which is a little, is a lot lower than I thought because I was going to put it, but unfortunately, unlike with the first skin, skin, first game, his skins aren't like the best, and I'm not a huge fan of like these little splotches for the pattern. They're not the worst, but they just are kind of odd, but I would say for best skin, it would probably have to be Gamba River Basin and Probably either at blank or with um, Chakorana, actually. Let's see which one. Yeah, he looks better with the, without it. But yeah, he doesn't have like the greatest skins, but still, since he's really cute and I always use him, I had to put him on the list here. Though not as high as I was going to go. But moving on to where is it? Number six, our first sauropod on the list, which is the... There he is. The Amargosaurus, which only reason he's not higher is some is because something I wanted him to have, unlike other sauropods, was to be able to defend himself. Because you see these giant spikes and you think, maybe he could stand a chance against something like Carnotaurus or even the Raptors. Maybe he could spike something in the mouth, but unfortunately, no. But still, because he looks different, a lot different, you know, with those spikes making him look like a sauropod that could at least fight back more than the others, I had to put him on the list. His skins aren't like the perfect, like, cause he only has the stripe in, on his spikes and stuff, unfortunately, but he still has some nice skins. I would say the best one has to be probably um, either the Amazon Rainforest again, or the, probably the Mangrove Forest with probably no skin, cause like, it doesn't really look much different. Like, look, this is with a skin which it's only on the tip of the spikes that it's really noticed, but I don't know. Just this, the pattern color is not like the best for this guy. Like the skins, the base skins don't really complement that well. Although Pulcherana actually looks interesting with this guy. So, you know, there's some good ones if you get them right, but he's on the list just because it looks different from other sauropods. And I was originally going to put Nidrosaurus on the list, but because this guy's taking his place, Nigrosaurus is not on the list, unfortunately, for anyone who was hoping that. But moving on to number five, I think, which is all the way back down at the bottom. Good God. It is the... Where is, is it? It is right... Here, the Woohooosaurus, which makes number five. At least I think it's six or five. Good God, I got, I'll fix this in a second. But Woohooosaurus came in the early Cretaceous DLC, which won't be the last dinosaur on this list. And Woohooosaurus made it on the list just because it just looks so cute, for God's sake. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of older Stegosaurus designs that where I drew as a kid and also that I've seen in books where instead of having the stegosaurus plates that we've seen like in the movies of course it had the it always had these rounder ones which kind of reminds me that maybe that's why I really like it also love how he's got some cute little eyebrows that make him look angry even though he's so cute and I love the way he just rubs his foot in the ground he's like oh I'm ready to go and his best skin, he's actually got a lot. Like, I love the Great Sandy Desert. That is a nice one. Then if we go um, Amazon Rainforest again. Um, and Mangrove Forest, actually. Ooh, that's nice. And probably the best skin, like, pattern is actually... I have no idea how to say that. Paleofax? Something like that. This purple one, it really highlights on, like, all these skins, like, for the most part, like... I think, well, not really this one, it kind of dulls it down a bit or pales it up, but for the rest, it actually stands out really well. So it's, that's probably the best base pattern. That's actually really beautiful there. 
This is number five, the Woohoo Resource. And speaking of early Cretaceous ones, the next one on the list is the... Where is it? Uh, I know I passed it. Um, Minmi. Minmi also makes the list because it is just so tiny. I... I know it was small, but I didn't realize it was as small as it is. It's like smaller than a raptor, actually. And it's just so cute. It's got a nice design with the pebbly armor, like similar to older designs of ankylosaurids, actually, like other, like ankylosaurs. And it's definitely like my favorite ankylosaurid apart from ankylosaurus, which ankylosaurs didn't make it on the list, but it, it was either him or this. And I just had to use this because he just looks so cute. And Again, he's got some nice skins, like, especially I like the snowy one, and for patterns, he actually has some nice ones. I actually like the, um, Peleofax on this one, because it's sort of, it's that nice yellow, even though, it, and it's got the brown stripes along it, so it's consistent, and it looks really cute. A pale boy with a bit of color, actually. Now, moving on to number th three, actually. Number three... We need to go actually down, actually. It is the Stegosaurus, which is right here. I've always had a soft spot for Stegosaurus, and, and there's the Lost World call, so that helps it. But this guy's got some amazing skins. For the um, pattern colors, they're actually really interesting, but the best one is definitely the Papurana. I saw this in an image like when... The game was being promoted, and oh my god, it set my eyes on fire because it was, it really pops. And it goes with any of the skins. I don't even need to pick one. Well, it doesn't go with that one, but, like, I just pick any skin, that Stego is going to love it. Though, for the best one on this one, I would have to say, probably, hmm, maybe actually that one. They definitely contrast. It's... It fits with the color of the underbelly, actually, so yeah, that actually works a lot. The Yukon River Stegosaurus. Just, it's that pattern that won me over for sure. But, he's at number three, being one of my personal favorites. So, that gave him some points. And, moving, actually, down to number two, which... I'm actually surprised this guy's gotten so big in my heart, but it is the... Nasutoceratops, which, I don't know, it's just grown on me so much since Battle of Big Rock. It's w one of the coolest ceratopsians, it just has a big nose, a bull-like horn, and I love the colors on this guy, actually. Especially this mangrove forest, like the bl For me, it's either blue or green, I'm noticing. I love the blue and greens for these guys, but, yeah, like, the other ones, ooh, that's actually a nice one, a sonar desert. Oh, and a purple one. I would say for this guy, it's definitely this and actually the Papurana because that guy, he just really pops out. I love the way the green pops out. Unfortunately, Triceratops did not make the list, although I still use Triceratops all the time. But I think this guy just won it over. He's not... I love Pseudoceratops a lot. Like, it's... It's grown on me so much, and I'm pretty sure a lot of fans have, especially, you know, seeing baby versions of them doesn't really... But sort of, it won it some big points, so, yeah. Nasutoceratops, you win for there. But, moving on to number one, which was... Which, I'll give an honorable mention, actually, which was actually the Mudabarasaurus, because I like the way the patterns, actually, if we, um can pause if we pause it there you go i love the way that if you look on the pattern on the nose it creates a nice pattern i love the way it looks there and let's see if we pause actually here the best one is actually felofax because it got like this nice um sort of thermal look to it like the way thermal imaging is and the best skin for a regular oh look at the tail actually wow that actually pops out a lot more and this one's actually a nice one but I would have to say that either this green one, which is very, which reminds me of the Walking with Dinosaurs one, or the Amazon Rainforest, because that purple and turquoise reminds me of, oh, excuse me, got the hiccups, because, well, I've been having some sips of tea, so I'm going to actually pause and have another sip. 
So give me a second, cue the hot music. Ah, ooh, it's got a lot of lemon in this one this time. But yeah, Mudabar Source was my honorable mention. Almost made it on the list, but I just decided I would, he wasn't meant to be on the list. Maybe he'd definitely be number 11, but if we go to number one, all the way at the top is my favorite dinosaur, like my favorite herbivore still. It's the Brachiosaurus. Even though I know what you're thinking, it's probably the most fussiest dinosaur. Like even Mementosaurus doesn't need much, as much trees as this guy. But in Sandbox, that doesn't really matter, so it doesn't bother me. But I love Brachiosaurus. Only complaint about him is the skins, apart from this one really, this Amazon Rainforest, which is green this time. Wow. All the skins have more of an earthy tone, which I'd like one that likes that's like really vibrant for one of these colors, like like we've got an earthy green and a bright green. That works, but I'd like um this blue and one to be more brighter, because this is more of a paler blue or dull blue, and this one's a little more vibrant, but I'd like it a lot more. Same with the patterns, actually. I'd say the best pattern is Pulcherana, but I prefer it without a skin. And I'd say my favorite would be either Mangrove or the Yukon River, because I use those ones all the time. But that's my number one, just because I love Brachiosaurus. I can always have it in my park, even if I can't find room for it. I'll always get it in my park somehow. But anyway, guys, that is my list for the best herbivores. Next up, we will be doing the carnivores. There were so many options here. I could have put Ankylosaurus, as I said. I could have put, like, uh, I wouldn't put Chasmosaurus. I also want to say, um, not Chunk Chunkingosaurus, where is he? Um, Wyangosaurus. Wyangosaurus was also another honorable mention. He's just a cute squeaker, and between him and Chunkingosaurus, he just won out a little bit more. But I think um, the other two Stegosaurus, just, I used them a little bit more, so they won out. He could have been on the list, like, realistically, they all could have been on the list. Some of them might change in the future, but still, I don't know. This is just my own list. If you got your own, a different list, leave it in the comments, guys. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And in the next one, we look at the carnivores. Probably not the hybrids, we're probably not going to include those because that's going to sort of be cheating, but if I were to put them, well, who knows, maybe I'll do a top 15 carnivores just to sort of include them and other carnivores. But until we get there, we're going to have to stick with a guan down here. And until next time, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye!